Now it's time for Recon Oil and their CEO, Fred Sundström. Please come on stage and pitch to us. Welcome to Eco Summit. Welcome back, Thank I should you. say. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. My name is Fred Sundström. I'm the CEO and founder of Recon Oil. Yeah. I would like to start to talk with one of the oldest industry and also blamed for a lot of shit in this world. But can this old black industry become something green? Okay, so I have a few questions to start with. Is it possible to reduce global consumption in industry with 90%? And as a serial entrepreneur, you also wonder, how do you make money from that one? It's not so damn easy. So, we are Recon Oil. <coughs> a little bit short about us. Clean tech company. We focus on oil. We develop and sell industrial systems for regeneration online or offline. We are based on advanced separation technologies. I come back to that one. And we are moving now from R&D phase to a more commercial phase. The team which I work with is uh, quite a lot of different, actually, skills. They are computer people, there are chemists, there are mechanical engineers, there are oil experts, really crossing the borders. And, not at least, we have a medical doctor. <laughs> so why in hell do you have a medical doctor? Yeah. Actually, that was the inventor. It's, it's medical science, and the, the whole thing started in biotech. He was an expert, or is an expert, in separation technologies. And this is a quite interesting story how such a company as our can be founded. He was actually in the industry talking about separation of bacteria from, from uh, industrial water. This was in Sandvik, you know, one of those major Swedish companies. And, and all of a sudden, one guy asked, yeah, if this is so good, why can't you do it for oil? Because that's a much bigger problem. Yeah, of course, said the inventor. I do it. And that was many years ago. So, so what is the difference between our... I go back to that one. So... By using our technology, yeah, you can see the right and the, and the left and the right. We put in separation boosters, which came from the biotech idea, liquid-liquid separation. We collect the dirt down to below nano size. And what remains is a completely clean oil. It's like new. So how do you use it? Yeah, you can use it in two ways. Either you put it... Uh, you put it online on an industry. So, actually, they can use the same oil year after year. Or you can take it out. For example, we have started now to do research with uh, engines, where you can actually take the oil out, renew it. You can plug and clean it over the night. All your electrical fancy cars, where you have all your plugs and apps, they need oil. Everything which moves beneath soil. So you can renew it over the night, and then you put it back, and you run it year after year. So what's the market for lube oil? Of course, <coughs> it's quite big, of course, in every... Here we are, we are looking at a million of cubic meters, which is used all over the world. It's, it's almost the same in Asia or Europe, whatever it is. And, and uh, of course, there is a press on this valuable raw material. Someone described it very well here. The growing world population, the decline of production rates, the global heating, more sustainable things. So everything presses the same way. And what does this affect? The price, of course. So what kind of customer benefits can you do with this one? Yeah, if you prolong the lifetime of Luboy, you can reduce lube oil consumption. Instead of changing, you use the same year after year. What does it mean if you have a constantly clean? Well, it means that an engine or a factory can run much smoother, even using less energy. So, 
yeah, that was what I was saying. But is this, is, does it really work? Yeah, it works. It's a proven technology. Actually, the inventor and Sandvik, they decided to go for a common project already seven years ago. So they created the first unit working. This was in the steel factory, producing very advanced stainless steel material. And the fact is that for the, the first one there, they changed oil every 12 weeks due to pollution. And now they have been running six years with the same. That was number one, avoiding 25 oil changes. Secondly, by doing that and keep it clean like that, they improve the production quality, productivity with 20%, which was, of course, much, much, much more worth than the actually installation itself, which costed around 1 million euro. <laughs> and third, of course, they avoid the emissions which have been created if you should have changed oil 25 times. So, so there was a second unit also built in a totally other place in, in Czechia for actually for production of stainless special pipes. So when I, as an entrepreneur, met my partner four or five years, there was, this unit was already working, but it was not made available for the consumer, for the average industry. So what do you do? You start to create a system, of course. That was number one. We have done an online process module, which we finalized last year, which we called Rocco, Recon Oil, Completely Clean Oil, but Rocco. We have a software, which is chemical separation boosters. So these two we combine into one unit, and then we create this system. So what kind of business model? Because that was on my mind. How do you create money from something which has to be less? That's always a trick. So the tools we have is, of course, the, the, the machinery. Now we are going to downsizing. There are markets, of course. We are looking at the marine marking. We are looking at the, at the metal industry. We are looking at the windmills, which contains many of them, between three to 500 liters of blue boy, changing every year, which they never tell you. And of course, you have to have recurrent sale. That's where the money comes from. And long life oil. I come back to that one. You upgrade the whole thing, and you have separation boosters and license fees. So that's what I call the tools. And this is the business model. Sell the same oil over and over again. The customer use it over and over again, and you sell it over and over again. Either you can even give it away, and then you have a contract that the customer use a complete, clean, renewable oil, and it gets renewed every year, or every month, or every week, whatever. So, by doing that, you really have a sustainable use of oil, and you have a business model. So, what are we doing right now? Yeah, as I said, we are moving from the R&D phase to more commercial phase. We have... Uh, building an oil recovery center, which is offline cleaning. We have 4 million euros in order to execute the next 12 months before we start launching the whole thing. We are, are started to work on the windmills. That's why Big has us in the portfolio. He's a part of the financing in that project, and we are since one and a half year <coughs> working on a project on marine engine, because that's a huge single market, 60,000 ocean ships using 10 to 40 cubic meters every year of oil, which has to be renewed. Or can it be used five years instead of one year? That's the trick we are now working with. 
So, yeah. So what we what are we, what I am I'm looking for right now here? Yeah, we are just in a in a round to finance five million euro. Uh, we have started these discussions, and uh, our exit strategy is actually to make a on the technical sale within two to three years, because the the scale of this business need to be done as it's oil and technology by a huge company. That's how it. So, thank you. Thank you very much, Fred. Thank you. Do you have a question for Fred of Recount Oil? So you are actually having revenue at this stage? Yes. How, um, do yeah, you want we to are, tell us how much? Ah, we have been, uh, We are running on 12 months now. And four Maybe we'll, uh, look at the audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, of course. So, so uh, that we also are heavy on ongoing projects. So. We're making revenue, but the profit is another thing. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. Vitali, one question. So, uh, I remember your presentation at the last Tech Summit in summer. Uh, and uh, just to have a feeling of uh, dynamics, uh, what changed compared to, I think it was June. Uh, uh, so, you are very think, interesting think, ideas yeah. again, but sort of. Yeah, How the, that the the dynamics is that, for example, with the with the OEMs on the engines, we are actually signed contracts with with the, the major engine manufacturer, the major separator manufacturer, the major test procedure. So I think we have there we are there are the dynamics, and we have a lube oil company in the in the which is now cooperating with us and designing actually, are we going to sit on the end of the train or are we sitting in the front row? They like to sit in the front row, so they are not designing oil, specially designed to be reused again and again and again. So, things happen, Thank you. anyhow. Great, thank you very much, Fred. Thank you. Okay.